Next, we're going to look at controlling objects in Niagara 4 with a schedule. We have some basic control logic on our CAFE wire sheet where an exhaust fan is turned on and off by comparing a space temp to a temperature set point. But we want to modify the logic so that this is an exceptional event and that the exhaust fan is normally controlled by a timed schedule. So we'll begin by adding a schedule to the CAFE wire sheet. The easiest way to do that is to go to my palette sidebar. Click on my open palette button and filter for the schedule palette. Click OK and I open up that schedule palette in my sidebar. You'll see there are many different types of schedules and you want to select the schedule that matches the type of point that you want to control. In this case we want to control an exhaust fan so I'm going to control that with a boolean schedule. I'll drag that boolean schedule out of the palette and drop it onto the cafe wire sheet. I'm going to call this my cafe awk schedule. The schedule block looks a little different than a writable block, but I can move that around the page by clicking on it. I can resize it by dragging the squares left or right. I'm going to begin by putting an, a regular schedule into the schedule object. I'm going to set what I want to happen seven days of the week. So I'll double click on that Boolean schedule and the default view I look at is the scheduler view. And the tab that I have open is the weekly schedule. This is the default schedule that we want to happen every Sunday, every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, etc. Now I can change the, the facets. Instead of saying true and false in this schedule, I could say on and off, or occupied and unoccupied. So I'll do that from the properties tab and find my schedule facets and click the little facets button and change the value to represent occupied and unoccupied conditions. I can also in the properties select my default output. What do I want this schedule to do if I don't tell it to do anything else? In this case I'm going to leave the default output set to be unoccupied. I'll go back to my weekly schedule and say that I want my cafeteria to be occupied between 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. Monday through Friday. So that the easiest way to achieve this is to go to the, the column that represents Monday's schedule and approximate where 7 a.m. would be on the schedule and click with my mouse. Holding the mouse button down and dragging an event until it says 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now if I don't have that exact, I can move that block up and down, I can resize it, or I can type values in the event start and the event finish to get the exact start and stop time that I require. Now I could repeat that process for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but there is a shortcut in the scheduler. If I right click on that occupied block on Monday, one of the options that appears is apply M to F, which allows me to apply that same schedule Monday through Friday. I'll save my changes and now I have the schedule set up to turn the fan on Monday through Friday. I'll go back now to the cafe wire sheet And I will take the out of the schedule and drag that to input 16 of the exhaust fan. You'll notice when I do that, there are two different commands being written to the exhaust fan. 
our tstat logic is telling the fan to turn on at input 10 and our schedule is telling the fan to turn off at input 16 and because input 10 is a higher priority than input 16 the fan stays on because the temperature in the cafeteria is higher than the set point or within my dead band. Now if I right click onto the space temp and go to my actions and set the value I could set the value to be something below the set point and outside the dead band. You'll notice that the TSTED object turns the exhaust fan off. But in this case, the schedule will never be used because input 10 will always be a higher priority than input 16. The way I resolve this is using a property in the TSTAT object. If I double click on the TSTAT object, there is a property there called null on inactive. And if I change that property to true, it changes the way the TSTAT outputs values. When I hit save and refresh the screen, you'll see the output of the TSTAT is no longer false. It's no longer turning off the exhaust fan. It's outputting a null value. A null value means no command. In this case, if I go back to the cafe wire sheet, I can see what it means is that when the TSTAT is at a null value, then the schedule will be controlling the exhaust fan. So under normal conditions, the schedule will turn the exhaust fan on and off. The only time the TSTAT will matter is if the temperature in the cafe gets above the 76 degree set point when the cafe is not usually occupied. In that case, the exhaust fan will turn on to remove the excess heat from the cafe.